Activity that's going. <laughs> she says to me, "What what you got planned to talk about today?" I said, "I don't know. I'm gonna I'll rely on you. Have you got something to say?" She says, "Don't be relying on me. <laughs> I have not to say." So here we are, folks. Channel's going to that tube, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. There we go. I'm, I'm. Look at the length of my hair. And is that too long? That's far too long. Is it? Yes. Well, it well you should won't. say um, either go to hairdressers, make an appointment at hairdressers, or I'll cut it or whatever each, you want. Each time I think of going to hairdresser, I think, oh. She's going to say... What do you want doing with it? What do you want doing with it? And how many... <laughs> it's going to be days before she can get to it. Oh, right. Yeah, well, that's true. So I'm going to have you do it this afternoon. Oh, yeah. So this is the before. And let's see what the afternoon looks like. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. Yeah. What do you think? Well... You've done it before and it, it looked all right. You said it did. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've got some stuff written down here. Oh. Um, have, I, have I mentioned, did I mention Alison, about Alison yesterday? She, Alison, you, be, you, you became a member of Patreon. Now... No, I don't think you did. People don't know about my Patreon page. Because I don't really know. Patreon, it's a funny thing, isn't it, Patreon? I, I When I registered with Patreon, it was a long time ago when I was trying to promote my art. And you know how, in the old days, artists had a patron... Yeah. A lot of artists had a patron uh, that promoted them, bought, bought their art and promoted their art. Well, I thought Patreon was something like that. Mm -hmm. So I registered it with it originally for that reason. But then when, when I started YouTube, because that was before I, I did YouTube, when I started on YouTube... Um, I started putting videos on, but how all I was doing was repeating myself, doing what I was doing on YouTube, on Patreon. Yeah. And I couldn't think of anything to do on Patreon other than... What you were already doing. I mean, I put a video, <coughs> I put a video up every day. Most people don't do that. No. So they, they could maybe do something on Patreon, but what... I mean, for me to do anything else on Patreon, I won't know what to do. Um, mm. So I've, I do have a few members on Patreon, and I think, what shall I put on there? Mm. So what I have done is I've been and found, found really old videos that nobody watches, going way back, and put them on there. Um, I've done that. Or maybe... I could put the videos with the letters. You know the letters that, mm, that, that we started with. That we wrote to one another when we were courting. And I read out on YouTube. Maybe I could put them on there. Um I don't really know. Uh mm. but anyway. Th thank you, Alison. For joining Patreon, I did put a video up the other day, yesterday maybe, it was. Um, uh, I just need to try and think of something to do on, on it, don't I? Mm. If you've got any suggestions. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
Uh, mm -hmm. I think I bet you've never I bet none of you have, I've never heard of it before. Something called Bank for International Settlements. Have you ever heard of it? Bank for International Settlements. Mm. Apparently they run the show. They're the bank for banks. Uh, I, I went on there, I, I, I googled it um, and I went on their website but I couldn't understand none of it, couldn't make any tail out of it. Um, <laughs> when I, I went up to bed at 11 o'clock last night he was, he was still trying to, he was still on his computer looking at this thing. He said, Why? He says I don't understand any of this. Not what like, is it telling me? I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> derive any anything from it. No. Um, and maybe I'm not supposed to. Mm. I don't know. Uh, if anybody out there knows, um, what else am I looking? Give him, a, give us a shout. Yeah. Um, yeah Somebody, um, is it Sandra? I'm not sure. I never remember people's names. Suggested the title of Life After Van Life. Mm. Life After Van Life. Yeah. As a title. Yeah. But I don't know whether that's, you won't want to do away with Trevor and Pat Life on the run, would no, you? No, no. Because <clears throat> people find us from that. Yeah, from that they do, yeah. Life after van life. Yeah. Is it good? Mm. Mm. Good one. <coughs> Bad at me. Um, and someone else says they want to know about retirement in the UK. Retirement in the UK? Yeah. Mm. I think they're in Australia. All right. Someone in Australia. Retirement in the UK. Hmm. Well, in what, what way do you, do you want to know about the um, uh, benefit system? The you know that kind of, or do you want to know about what people do in the retirement? Um, how they. How they, um, how they live. live. Um, I can give you a little bit of information, but we don't know what people, other people do, do we? Well, I don't know whether the law's changed, which laws always are changing. Mm. But it, it used to be that a, a bloke had to work 30, he had to have 39 working years in his life to qualify for a basic pension and a woman had to have 32 or 34 or if yeah maybe 34 somewhat like that uh, to qualify for a basic pension now pat because pat when we were married pat came out to germany and she didn't work in Germany, mm -hmm. um, a lady of leisure, mm -hmm. um, and then when we came out of the army in 1970, you, you, I got a full time job, you were working full time, yeah, but then when you had Tracy, yeah, you, it was really part time work, it's, it's a part time bits work, it's a part time yeah. work, sometimes You'd work in the gallery. Oh, You'd right. work with me. Yeah. And we neither of us drew a wage. No. When we when we work, worked in the workshop, when we had the workshop for restoring pianos, we neither of us drew a wage. Um, all I did was draw enough money out for housekeeping every week. 
I think that was it. Yeah. And pay the bills out of it. Yeah, we never had any spare. So when Pat worked with me in the workshop, she she wasn't paying stamp. I was. Yeah. I paid stamp, but you didn't. And then when I did start to pay stamp, because we were advised to do that, that really put the cat among the pigeons, didn't it? Because it it won't it won't the right stamp. Um, we were advised to get the wrong stamp, and no, no, you're wrong. No, sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> What no? What happened? What we had an accountant, or we thought was an accountant. It turned out she wasn't a qualified accountant. She was a bookkeeper. And there's a difference. Now this, it was a lady. This lady said that um, what you should do is make a partner in the business and then you could divide the income up that the gap that the yeah, work, piano workshop made into two between the two of you right so she advised us to do that so we did and then all of a sudden I mean I don't know how long it went by a year, two years, I don't know, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But out of the blue, we got this letter from, um, well, the pension people or whatever. I don't know who it was. And he came, did this guy. And he said that because you were a partner, you yeah. should have been paying national insurance. Ah, and you it. weren't. Because in the past, before Pat became a partner, her income was below the threshold, so she didn't have to pay national <laughs> insurance <laughs> because her income was so low. She didn't she she didn't have to pay it. But as soon as she became a partner, her pot proportion of the profits from, from uh, of the turnover, sorry, from the business, put her over the threshold for national insurance. We didn't know that, <laughs> and so. It worked out that we owed we owed them a thousand pound. Yeah. And I had to pay them a hundred pound a month. <laughs> we were always paying somebody. Yeah. Else. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. So, and and I said to the bloke, but Pat hasn't paid enough stamps in her working life to qualify for a pension. So if we have to pay this thousand pound back to you. We won't get any benefit from it. And he says, I know that, but it's the law. And you, you, your wife was over the threshold, so she has to pay it. So we had to pay a £1,000 national insurance contributions, knowing that we would never get any benefit from it because Pat didn't have enough working years in her life to qualify because she'd... she'd Sometimes yeah. work for with me. She'd sometimes work part time, and never earned enough to put her. Up. It, they've had to have been voluntary contributions mm. um, that we made, and we couldn't afford it. it well, yeah. more than we could afford. Yeah. So he said we could make it up, didn't he? By yeah, we could have. Paying it at but, end or Well, I asked for a pension review, and they, they, we got a thing from them, and they told mm. us that you won't qualify. And that you, the, you would receive 60% of my pension. That's how it works in this country. That uh, because Pat didn't qualify, she qualified for 60% of mine. That didn't mean mine was knocked off, that she, yeah. they, they knocked 60% of mine off. It was just that that was the proportion of my pension that she was allowed to receive. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Bit complicated, yeah. isn't it? So, yeah. <clears throat> that means that because I, I paid self-employed stamp, and I didn't know, but for some reason, a self-employed stamp don't carry the weight of a employed stamp. 
you don't get apparently you don't get as much no. as of a pension out of a self-employed stamp as you do an employed stamp yeah. I, and i didn't know that either so i'd gone through uh, most i mean i started working for myself shortly after coming out of the army i mean i had a few jobs so paying self-employed stamp right from then right until you retire yeah um, and um it won't it won't enough for the a good pension so we we have the most basic of basics pensioners at the moment it's i get 170 and Pat gets 102. Mm. So that's £272, isn't it? Yeah. That we have to live on a week. Yeah. For that. Well, you couldn't pay all your bills and... You won't... You couldn't live in a house and live normally for that, could you? I mean, well, we'd have to claim a ton of benefits. Yeah. But because... We never have. Well, because we um, sold the house and downsized, um, we had we had savings, and that's what we've been living on. And so it, it kind of rules you out. It rules you out of being able to claim anyway. Not that I'd want. I never. I won't, I won't want to do that. No. But we do get a bit. Yeah. But mm. when you think that we, we spend over £100 on shopping yeah. when we're here, because there's, there's five of us. Yeah. Um, no, there's four of us. Um, and um, we give our Tracy £120 yeah. for mm. being here, because towards little mm. bits of bills and mm. what have you. I mean... You're getting neat bone, aren't you there? Because most of it's gone, aren't <laughs> most it? Most of it's gone. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you've other, like he's, he's got the car tax and insurance and um, petrol and little bits like that, that that has to come out of it as well. Well, when we had the cap, when we were using the motorhome, that's why we were spending our savings. Yeah. Because yeah. we couldn't have done it otherwise. No, we? no, no. Well, that's why we we had to sell up. Because... To do that. For, to retire. For me to retire. Mm. I mean, at the time of retirement, I wasn't working full time. I think I was earning £180 a week or something. Mm. Um, when I retired. So we lost that. Yeah. Well, that was a big chunk. That was a, mm. a chunk of money to lose. I mean, even when I were um, doing little bits of cleaning, we always declared what I did. Oh, earned yeah. To the, always. We yeah. declared every I... penny of what we have earned. I don't know how to fiddle. The, the, the best way is to just be honest. Yeah. And, we... and we've always. We've even always though it were only small amounts. Even when I earn cash, even when customers paid me by cash, I put it through my books. Yeah. Everything went through my books. Yeah. Um, you, you were very good at bookkeeping. Um, weren't you when you were younger? Yeah, I did. I don't, I don't agree with fiddling. No. Um, you, you should be on. I believe in being honest, and um, we always tried to be honest. We made mistakes like that insurance thing. Yeah. You make, anybody can make mistakes, do things they don't understand. Yeah. But I would, I would never deliberately. Yeah. I mean, um, and when we had that account, what we thought she were an accountant, when we, we said, well, we can't go on like this. No. Can you give us what you've got of ours back? Oh, we're going to have to go to a proper go accountant. To a proper accountant. She went and set fire to all my books. Well, she said she did. She said she did. She yeah. says I've burnt them. Yeah. So when we went to this next accountant, I was blooming astronomical, wasn't it, what they wanted? They charged us more than the tax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. A lot more. Than the tax we owed. It was ridiculous. Um, oh. So 
I, I did my own, my own accounts and, and I still do the self assessment. I still do that now because you, anything I earn from YouTube or Patreon or seller drawing, whatever money I earn, I, I, I declare it on, on my self, uh, self assessment returns. Yeah. yeah e even though we're retired. You keep all your receipts and, and write everything down, don't you? Yeah. Put it all on. Computer. Yeah. Um, but well, I don't far... keep receipts for expenditure because I don't. It's not a. It's not like when I was running. When I was running, doing my tech piano tuning, everything I spent, I used to have a, a pin, and I used to put the receipts down the pin. So Still got it. and when <laughs> yeah, and at the end of the year. I used to thread them all onto a boat waist. So all my receipts were all in date order. They were all there in date order. So if I need to, re to refer to the receipts, and that, that, that pile of receipts went in a folder with my books. Mm. And I kept them all for 10 years. Kept all my accounts for, for 10 years. And we years. still got boxes in the a cupboard. A cupboard. That are from... Yeah. I think they need sorting yeah. out. Well, they're, they're way beyond that a date, aren't they? Yeah, you don't no. have to keep them no. that long, no. do you? I mean, I'm not, retired. I'm not self-employed now, I'm, I'm retired. Mm. Um, but it, it, there is a part of your self-assessment which says any other income. Yeah. And that, that's where I put it, there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't claim for expenses on it because it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a large amount. Um, it, it still don't put me over the tax threshold. Don't, any income that I earn from YouTube or whatever, it doesn't put us over the tax threshold. So I, won't, I don't, still don't pay tax. No. Because we don't earn <laughs> enough to pay tax anyway. So, and I think that people who are retired find something to do. Um, we see a lot of retired people walking along the canal. Hmm. They, they maybe join little groups of walkers. I mean, even your Auntie Brenda, who's in her eighties, she she joined a little group of walkers. But uh, then she didn't she do something? She fell or something? Uh, yeah. And she hadn't got back to it just yet, but she says she will do. Um, and I mean, people just, I think. I'm not, I'm not a gardener or a, no. a plodder or one yeah. of these. I, I, Mick I and Jane got an allotment. Yeah, didn't but they? Mick and Jane have an allotment. Mick paints, he still draws and paints, and they have their allotment. Jane's yeah. involved in all sorts of stuff, Various and she has activities. tons of friends that she's yeah. always meeting up she, with. She likes going to the cinema to watch new films. Um, and she meets people for coffee and mm. um, and then she goes out, meets people on, on, on the train, they meet halfway. She's quite busy, isn't she? She really? goes to that WOMAD. 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 Yeah. Thing they didn't year. go last year. Mm. No, they didn't. Um, but she goes with her, her brother and friends up to WOMAD mm. every, mm. every other year. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, what else? Oh, she goes swimming. She likes swimming. People do that when they retire, yeah. don't they? Golf. People we, play we, golf. We, I, I prefer to do what we do, where going off, seeing things. Yeah, going out, um, having a meal out, and uh, I, I mean. You might think we drink a lot when, when you see us, but we're only drinking halves and we maybe only have two. Mm. To, if, if we're not going to drive. Yeah. 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 If I'm driving. You won't have any. No. Um, um, but when I'm not driving. I, I, if I have a pint and a half, I feel full. Yeah. Can't, can't drink much. Um, but um, we do we do go into a lot of pubs. Yeah. But it's mainly to go to the toilet. To go to the loo <laughs> <laughs> or have a meal. Yeah. Um, um, and yeah. I, I'm only 
a drinking day at Cork, so it's oh, Pepsi. I, 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 if I'm not driving, I've come to the conclusion I'm better off having a small white wine. Because <clears throat> don't cost any more no. than, than, than half a lager and a, and a Coke. A small white wine and a Coke seems to cost about the same. Um, and it's less fluid. It's yeah. less n n need to... I mean, I can make... I can turn half a pint into one and a half pints, I think. <laughs> in my body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, retirement. That's yeah. That's some information about. It's a yeah. lot of information yeah. about our retirement, yeah. isn't it? Meeting friends and family. You know, you have to yeah make arrangements to see them all, and yeah. it's a, a week can go by really quick if you're meeting one person and then you have to see another person. Yeah, doesn't it? It yeah. seems. Yeah. I mean, we've been out twice this week. This week, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I booked um, a trip out on Monday. Yeah. Today's Friday. Yeah. Today's Friday. On Monday we're going out, staying out overnight. Mm -hmm. and I won't tell you where we're going until we, while we get there. Um, the car, the car is running, is running fine. Mm. Um, and that that I pressed that button to stop the engine from turning off. And it's worked. And it's it? staying off. Mm. Even after I've turned the car off and I come back to it, turn it back on, it's staying on. So it's it's just working like a normal car. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah, it's lovely car. Lovely. It's lovely, yeah. Yeah. Small so you can get it back. <laughs> it's it's a really pretty thing. Yeah. I love it. it. It's a lovely little thing. We've always liked look of them, haven't We've we? Always isn't it funny because when we were young, when we were caught and we used to stand at bus stops and watch it cars rain. going by, it rain, yeah. I always said to you, I want one day we'll get a maroon mini. Yeah. I always wanted a maroon mini with a white roof. Yeah. And then when when this Fiat 500 model came out, I used to say to Pat, I really like that. Really like that car, but I like it with a white steering wheel. <laughs> Looks reminds me of the old Dodgeham cars, you know, in the feasts when we used to have the feasts and um, the what Dodgems. <laughs> and they always had a white steering wheel with a, a white rub, rubber thing in the middle, sort of spongy thing mm -hmm. in the middle in case you bumped your head. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, the the the, the Fiat Five Hundred. It just reminded me of that. Uh, inside and um, and we never did get us maroon mini. No, we got a black one with a swimming pool in it. Oh, that was an <laughs> hopeless wreck. Oh, that wasn't the fulfilment of my dream. Every time you drove it, you could hear this water going. <laughs> yeah, you could. But you couldn't could, see it. You could hear it swishing up and down somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that yeah. was awful. That yeah. was awful. Yeah. But we well we didn't get us maroon mini, but we've got us fair five hundred. Yes. With, yeah. with us white steering. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we'll get a Swiss up. Twenty eight minutes. Sorry folks, we've rattled away. Crazy. All right folks. All been well. Well it's weekend coming up. Yeah. Tracy's birthday tomorrow, so who no. knows what? We're going to have to give us some brass, aren't we? Well, I think we're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, folks. So, uh, you know the form. And if you don't, if, you don't, if you're new to the channel and you don't know the form, when weekends come, we never know if we can do one. Uh, if you we never know who's, who's going to be, be knocking about. So, if we don't, if we don't do one, you, you know that's why. Yeah. All right. See you, folks. Bye. Bye.